Hello friends, in previous tutorial I have shown you how to take a screenshot with Java. In this tutorial we will be seeing keylogger in Java. So for making a keylogger we have to import a library known as jnativehook.jar and I will be giving a link in description so that you can download this jar file. Now how to include this in your project? just right click I am in the Eclipse tool as you can see so this is the Eclipse IDE and these are the Java projects so I have created a new project and this in this new project you have to create another folder like this so you will be naming a folder anything selecting here then name anything then press finish so I have created a folder known as lib and in this lib I just copy pasted the jar ok then what I did I right clicked it build path and then configure build path so it will be added to your reference libraries here so you can check it if it is added or not then you copy paste the link then you copy paste the code that I have given in the description so basically a key logger it logs all the keys it records all the key presses all key releases and all key typed so there is a difference between a key pressed and key typed a key typed will also tell you if there is a shift key and another key which is pressed exactly but a press key it is not going to differentiate between that so we have to do something to for some key presses like shift so what you can do is you can type a code like this and then you can print that this key was pressed ok and I will show you in a minute how so this is a method which is known as key pressed and you can type in anything in here it is not necessary that you type the code that I have given you one more thing is that we have to exit from this whole program because it is an infinite loop which just goes on and on so I have put a condition here if the key pressed is escape if the key pressed is escape then I will unregister the native hook and I will come out of the program so let me just run this program and show you so now the program is running it also on its own records the mouse movements here you can see so I will be pressing some keys and it will show here now you are seeing that I have pressed some keys and it shows that in the console now if I press escape the program will exit how I know that you, you see this red thing it will be disabled so I am pressing escape now it is disabled that means the program has stopped and let me show you the key presses it will come up here but you have to find them another thing that you can do is to store all these keys in a file So you have to find the keys that you have pressed it has printed here see like this so I press 1 2 in the beginning and then the rest of them one by one one two q w etc so like this you can do anything if you record some special keys like shift so let's say if I press shift and then I press 1 it will do something so I will type like this e dot get key code and then this thing and also the key pressed at the same time is something else too so in this list it will show you the shift see here is the shift key 
and also I will get the key code or inside this program now if after this someone presses a key code then I will instead of typing that key code 1 2 3 I will press I will just show this these are the special characters because this program is unable to print on its own the shift characters because this is key pressed and I have told you that it by nature this method it doesn't catches shift keys and special characters so we have to print them on our own now after getting this what you can do is just print everything to a file like this so I have made a string over here this is a string and then it just concatenates all the native key events just let me type this copy paste it here now the strings gets bigger and bigger because we will be pressing some keys and after this when someone presses escape I will be writing this to a file so now you can see this is the file path and the extension of the file so let me just run the program and show you I will be pressing some simple keys not shift keys so let's say now I will press escape and I will show you where the file is in the D directory this is the file keys.txt and you can see this is the name that I typed and these were the numbers after that I pressed escape so it showed me escape and in between I pressed enter so I will be giving you all of this code in the description plus the link of this jnative hook dot jar file and you can modify this according to you this uh, native key listener it also had uh, I mean this jar it also has something called a mouse listener so you can check this by typing here j native you, you will find here the mouse listener too so you can also record mouse movements see here see here these are the mouse movements and you can also grab the wheel adapter if someone uses the wheel of the mouse you can also catch that so I will be giving you everything in the description and thanks for watching